What's going on, Scout Shop Warriors? Welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Black Wedlock. In the last episode, we um, took on where we are now, um, Nimbasa City, and Team Plasma's new king, N, and caught some encounters. So now we have a full team. Woo! Cheer for that one. But. With a full team comes a hefty team recap. So, yo, I'm not even joking. I just said hefty, and I wasn't even thinking about this Pokemon. But look at that. We have Hefty the Trubbish with Toxic Spikes, Stockpile, Takedown, and Sludge, holding the Eviolite to suck up all those hits. Who is married to... Apple Juice, the Soothe Bell holding Swadloon with String Shot, Bug Bite, Razor Leaf, and Protect. And we've got Nugget, the freaking monstrous one shotting Darmaka with Fire Fang, Headbutt, Fire Punch, and Thrash, rocking that Scope Lens to get all those crits. Who is married to Burger Mask, the No Item holding Thief, Ominous Wind, Hex, Will O Wisp, Yamask. And we have Cardinal, the oldest member of the team. With Yawn, Cut, Grass Knot, and Flame Burst, hold the Miracle Seed to power up that Grass Knot. <laughs> uh, and we have Cardinal married to Buckbeak, the Tranquil with Air Cutter, Growl, Roots, and Quick Attack. So, with that said, I need to decide what pair I'm going to be using for this gym. I am not feeling comfortable using Hefty and Apple Juice because, um,. Apple Juice is four times weak to flying, which is definitely what a Molga likes to pack. It's also four times weak to fire, which is what Zeb Strika packs with Flame Charge, so I'm not a fan. I think Nugget and Bergamask are going to be my best bet for this gym. Now, I forget, can Nugget learn Rock Tomb? Because if it can, we're set. Like, we're good. Yes, Nugget can learn Rock Tomb. Alright, sweet. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of Thrash. Never really going to use that move. I hate locking myself in. Um, it's not even as good as any of my other moves. Well, it is, but it's like, it's just not, it's not worth it. <coughs> but, um, if it wasn't obvious enough, we're going to be taking on Elisa's Gym in today's episode for our Bolt Badge, hopefully. And let's go ahead and scoop up our fresh water. Nice. Alright. The lighting is really bad in this gym, so the camera might be a little booty, but hang tight. <laughs> uh, it's mostly just battles anyway, so. Alright, um, let me make sure I've got move animations turned on. Oh, no, they're not. Alright, let's turn those on. And head into this battle. Um, I do probably need to make this hopefully as short of, of an episode as I can because I don't have too much more time to record. Uh, this is a lady, so I'm gonna get a lot of money from her. Kinda wish I was rocking out with the amulet coin, but hey, I need my Pokemon to live more than I need the cash. So let's go for a rock tomb. Pursuit, not gonna do too much. Uh, you seriously avoid my attack. Oosh, if Pursuit did that much, Shockwave is going to do a lot. Yeah. Alright, Rock Tomb it up. And almost down goes the Emolga. These things tend to carry static, so I don't exactly want to Fire Punch them. So, yeah. Uh, another Emolga, that's definitely annoying. I can't go out into Burger Mask because... Um, it's weak to pursuit. You know what? Screw it. Let's just fire punch this thing. I want to get it out of here. Catch a fire punch. Stab. Alright, it's gone. Didn't even catch static. Nice. Um, Nugget's gonna get over leveled, and I'm sorry about that, but I can't do anything about it. There's just. I need to use Nugget to beat this gym leader. So, I don't know what you want me to tell you. I just went ahead and used the fresh water on Nugget. 
because that was a pretty tough battle. Catch the roller coaster before it leaves. No, are you kidding me? Okay, let's just. Do 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 Jeopardy music. <laughs> and no, that wasn't the original. So don't hit me with copyright, because that wasn't copyright. <laughs> Boy, we have another trainer to fight. <laughs> Rich boy Cody sends out a blizzle. All right, go Nugget. All right, Fire Punch. You really gonna flame charge a Fire type? I'm sorry, you're stupid. <laughs> Unless I'm a Larvesta, there's no reason to do that. All right, Fire Punch the face. Come on, there it goes down in the drain. And Cody gives us 4,000 bucks for beating his little Blitzel. Good deal. Um, I can go ahead and help this experience problem. I'm going to slap the experience share onto Burger Mask. That should help it out. That should help us out a lot. With the problem of over-leveling one Pokemon. And you're here, so... And now the car is going to go away. Dang it! <laughs> And I have to battle you. Gosh. <laughs> Even though I knew you, I have to. I, I knew you. I, yeah. Oh my gosh. I knew I had to battle you. Jeez. <laughs> if I can say the sentence right. Alright, let's fire punch. Shockwave. Ah. Take it. Alright. Fire punch. That should be a one shot. I'm four levels above. Yeah. Alright. Down goes the Blitzel. And another Blitzel. <laughs> Alright. Uh, hopefully it doesn't do too much. Yeah, Shockwave, it's not going to hurt. And we can just land our Fire Punch, hopefully. Alright. I'm saying hopefully. I know it's a 100% accurate move, but we have Hustle, so. Yeah. All of our moves' accuracy are lowered in exchange for higher power. So it's kind of however you feel about it, but I like it. Because it's not too much lower of a chance. Uh, let's use a super potion. We have 20 of them, so... We should be fine. <laughs> Alright. Let's wait for this car, then. Alright. Nice. It's finally here. And... Whoa! Whoa! No, it wasn't really that exciting. But whatever. And I believe there's going to be another trainer popping out of the minecart. Not minecart. Oh my gosh. Playing too much Minecraft lately, I guess. No, I haven't even been doing that. I don't know why I called it a minecart. But. Cart. Train thing. I don't know what it's called. Yo. This fly has been sitting on this pillow right in front of my recording setup. You don't know. Look at this. See that pillow? There's been that fly. That fly has been on my pill on that pillow since like the beginning of an hour ago because <laughs> I just finished recording the um, why mono water egg lock and it was there whenever I started recording that <laughs> what's going on I don't know why it's there I guess it's sleeping or something please don't static okay thank you all right burger mask girls level 28 not too sure what level it evolves uh, hopefully soon. Because I know that Cough Egregious, it's, I don't think it's defenses boost too much whenever it evolves. I mean, a little bit, but it really gains those abilities to attack, I'm pretty sure. And it maintains the defenses it had as a Yaw Mask, so it's bulky. Just like it would expect, just like you'd expect it to be. But it's, it can still hit hard. Alright guys, we're here. Next to Elisa, let's go ahead and save the game, because that's the only thing you can do before any important events go down. Because only you can prevent lost saved data. King Nappy 2012. Or whenever he started saying that. <laughs> oh. Alright, I think it's time to take on the fourth gym leader in the Pokemon Black Wedlock. Elisa, let's do this. Did the fantastic speed leave you dizzy? My beloved...
Pokemon will be the next one to make your head spin. Whoa, that was not very much text, but here we go against Elisa, the fourth and... No, I just almost said fourth and final gym leader. I wish, but no. There's four more after this. We're only halfway. No, we're not even halfway, because we still haven't beat her. We're only just challenging her. But let's go ahead and take a Volt Switch. Whatever's coming in is going to get bodied, I can say that much. That hurts. I can say that much. That hurts. Really bad. Uh, please body this Emolga. There you go. Level 25, right? Yeah, I don't know. Okay, yeah, it does body it. Thankfully, no static. Sends in an Emolga. I should be able to take a Volt Switch. This thing shouldn't have any moves stronger than that. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. I need you to land this Fire Punch on Zeb Striker. This is huge. This is huge. Yes, alright, this is huge. Come on, do a lot of damage. There you go, that's amazing. Alright, I need to Hyper Potion. Oh, she Hyper Potioned as well. Zeb Striker's Volt Switch is gonna hurt. Or Stachio, don't betray us. Please. Oh. Alright, I think Fire Punch is our best bet. Oh, that Volt Switch is so bad. Okay, okay, it does almost about as Molgas do. Like, under half. Alright, Fire Punch, that's gonna take out this Emolga. Thankfully, no static. I don't have to deal with using any items to heal that up. Um, I'm super scared of this Zeb Striker, though. Like, you don't even know. Is there anything I can do to it with Burger Mask? Mmm. Oh, this is very risky. I feel like... Uh, does the striker get dark type moves? And if they if it does, are they physical? If they're physical, we've got sky high physical defense, and I can go for a will o wisp, and then a hex for double damage. Let's do it. Hopefully, this isn't the wrong play here. I need to take this thing out as safely as I can, though. I don't think risking the crit with uh, with one of our best Pokemon is the be is the safest way. Volt Switch. All right, we should eat it up. It's not super effective, and we got Sky High. Uh, wait, no. Yeah, we don't have exactly super high special defense. Thing is, that did exactly half, like literally exactly half. That's a problem. That's a pretty big problem. What do? Oh, not this situation again. What do? What do? I'm gonna go for a super potion and see what it does. I don't know what to do. I just can't risk the crit with, um, with chicken. Okay, that didn't do very much. Let's go for a hex. Come on, Burger Mask. There you go. Hex. Come on, take it out. Double damage. Oh. Burger Mask, I'm extremely disappointed in you. That was pathetic. That was 160 power stab attack. And it did that much. That's 240 power if you add that up. What are you doing, Burgomask? I'm gonna cross my fingers. She won't heal. She might. Oh. Yeah, I'm in that bad spot again. You know what? It should be fine, though. Because I can get off this hex. Come on, take this hit, Burgomask. I know you can do it. Okay, I thought that was a crit for a second. Hex. 
It'll do more than a burn damage. Alright. And heal up using a super, po super potion. Alright, full switch. Please do under half. Alright. That's too risky. That's way too risky. Working with the min, min max damage. That's just. I can't do that. Um, I hate to say it, but I think I'm gonna I'm gonna heal spam this thing and let it burn to death. Yeah, just one more hyper potion or super potion, and it will burn to death. I think we've won. As long as it doesn't crit me, knock on wood. Ah! Don't do it. Okay, we're good. We beat Elisa. That was difficult. Oh, that was definitely difficult. Or I guess it wasn't too difficult, but like, that got me fired up. That got me fired up. There's a freaking bug on my screen. <laughs> Go away, bugs. Nobody loves you. <laughs> uh, but, yeah. That was intense. This game, I'm telling you guys, this game is savagely difficult. If you haven't played it in Nuzlocke format yet, try it. And tell me what your results are. Tell me how many deaths you have by the end of the playthrough. And how many you have in the first couple, like, the first couple hours of gameplay. Because at the beginning, I know, lots of deaths. You can't get your team set up very much toward the beginning. Or you don't have that much time to build up your team and make it good. Um, especially grinding at the beginning of Black and White 1. And 2. You just can't do it. There's no autonos. You can't really grind. I don't know. So you just have to hope that what you're working with is good enough to be the gym leader. Whichever one you're maybe fighting. After that, you do definitely have the opportunity to catch more different Pokemon and build your team. I'm just stupid, and I get critted, and well, I guess that's not really my fault. But my starter gets critted and that kind of stuff, but yeah. Um, anyway, though, as you know, in my gym episodes, my gym leader battle episodes, I only battle at gym leader. So, that's where we're going to go ahead and wrap up. Today's episode of the Pokemon Black Wedlock. If you enjoyed, make sure to smash the like button, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.